A large part of Nevada is a Great Basin, is this sort of ecosystem. After the fire hits the area, we still don't know how some of these ecosystems recover. How do the plants grow back, for example? For regrowth, you need water, so we are interested in figuring out how does the fire affect the way water is stored or how water flows through these ecosystems. Collaboration is key in these big proposals and a huge opportunity to bring together different disciplines with different backgrounds, different knowledge. I'm a soil physicist by training and I understand what's going on in terms of water and soil, but I cannot design or build the equipment it takes to then put a robot on a drone, send the drone out, take pictures, analyze the pictures with a computer, etc., etc. This uh, collaboration is a huge opportunity for all of us to make big progress in this field. My main role in this project is to help people from hydrology and ecology try to understand the physics of what actually happens to a water droplet that actually falls on the soil. I think we are one of the first researchers to actually venture into using drones to actually collect data. It allows us to actually go into regions where it is not accessible, fly a drone in an area that is burnt, but it's uneven, balance the drone so it doesn't topple off, and then we have to find a place where we can actually do a droplet and that the droplet is stable, so we can't put it in a droplet that actually has a slope and have the droplet running off. We need to also make sure there's no shadows in the droplet, figure out artificial lighting, so we can actually see what is really happening to the droplet, how fast it's actually going inside, and that gives them the property of the soil. So we are also going to be using a lot of new technology like hyperspectral, multispectral, as well as LiDAR technology to collect biomass that is actually very important in determining how these fires will progress or how these fires will be burning. With Dr. Regentova's group, um, the collaboration is particularly interesting because she can take image analysis in order to extract information from a water drop that I could not have even dreamt about a year ago. I'm a principal investigator on the seed grant with the title of Development of Analytical Framework for Water Drop Penetration Time Measurement uh, in the Soils Affected by Fire. So in a short time, we get very good results, and we have shared that with uh, Dr. Marcus. So it was very excited because during our experiments, not only we uh, fulfilled the task, but we discovered the knowledge that could be very helpful to hydrologists. To analyze the behavior of the water drop, not only in terms of uh, absorption time, but also the shape of the water drop. It's clear that the shape will change during the absorption time, but also the bouncing, for example, how long from the water drop it will take to bounce back and forth before being absorbed. Okay, so this is the micro scale analysis that opens many more pathways to analyze from the hydrologist's point of view. Students are a key component of this um, project. In fact, um, students do most of the hands-on research in the field, in the lab, in front of computers. And so um, it's really the students that um, go out there, take measurements, collect data, bring data home, analyze data, and then um, write up that information in their master's and PhD thesis. It's cutting edge research. You predict, you better manage. If you better manage, you can prevent. You prevent, you save lives and property.